The Northern Exchange Building at the corner of 14th and R Streets Northwest was a sizable but uninhabited structure owned by the telephone company Verizon. When the building was first built, it actually was constructed to provide the exchange for 2,500 of the 12,000 telephones that existed in the District of Columbia. Just think about that. You know, today you could walk down the street and see 2,500 telephones probably. The um, building was designed to be an exchange, the Northern Exchange for the Chesapeake and Potomac Telephone Company, CMP Telephone. And at the time, if you know telephone history, I mean, all the telephone companies were all interconnected, but they were regionally organized so that they could run the operations within a particular area. So CMP, Chesapeake and Potomac, was the area for the District of Columbia. When we first purchased this building, um, it was very kind of monumental in terms of its nature and its size and its uh, character as, as it relates to 14th Street and R Street. It's very cold, uh, unwelcoming, and um, the, the design that you know, Eric Colbert put together um, really turned it on its head. Um, they were able to find some historic uh, photos of storefronts that were in the building and so that really changed the character of the building from the street perspective and so now you turned a space that was dead had huge bars and grates on it because uh, the neighborhood had kind of turned <laughs> since its original building in, in, in 1903 um, into now if you go out there you have street cafe you have people interaction you have a livelihood and a neighborhood experience that wasn't there originally. The new building would house residential condominiums on the upper floors and commercial space on the east side of the first floor. Apartment buildings can only be so deep and since this building was deeper than a typical apartment building, we cannot have windows on the northern side because it abuts the adjacent building. We had to come up with a creative solution to put apartments in the existing structure. And it has these large south facing windows with the high ceilings and so we were able to fit a mezzanine in, but keep the space open facing the southern end where the light comes, so that we were able to have deeper units, but we had a law for living. After researching old blueprints, a new cornice and brick parapet were added to capture the feeling of the original configuration. The other thing was that we wanted to add a setback floor on the top, and we had to work very carefully with the preservationists to make sure that the um, addition was not visible from certain perspectives and also did not detract from uh, the original historic character of the building. If you take a look around, you know, the 14th Street corridor, you see a lot of uh, the, the amazing old row homes and I, I think it adds a, a level of authenticity and grit that you can't get with the new building. Um, it's something that's real and tangible and it, it definitely reminds you of the history of where you, where you came from. Um, and I think that's important to, to keep that in mind. Um, and I really, um, you know, they just don't build the same buildings they do today as they did 100 years ago.